Greetings Laddingtons. I'm checking in from a dreary autumn forest here in good old Scandinavia. As you can see we've missed the beautiful autumn where all the leaves are shining in bright colors but we do have an epic feel nonetheless and I have the actually a rain jacket my brother got me. Always a man of impeccable style. Underneath I have the Perseus hoodie. Extremely comfortable if anything. So anyway, today I want to mention that since I talked about some deeper issues about mental health, I want to say that do get out in the forest. I can't say exactly what mechanism it is within your body that really wants to have this sort of being out in the forest, but I do know it makes you feel good. And I do know that being indoors for an entire season, which might be the case if you are in a city or something you can't really get out in forest do make a commitment to yourself that you try to get out in forest at least once a week or every other week or something like that so you get that sort of forest bath um, so to speak I don't want to sound like a hippie I don't want to sound like some sort of um, you know ultra environmentalist or um, yeah anything like that but I do believe still that it is good for you to get out in nature, just feel the smell of everything, it smells um, great to be honest, uh, especially in the autumn, um, and uh, just yeah, have a stroll, um, be a bit present in nature, um, and I say this as a biological fact, I'm not saying this as a hippie fact, so I'm saying this because there might be some biological reaction you get in your body, so same thing I say that you must train in the Temple of Iron, you must do your squats because it's good for you. It's good on a biological level. Your hormones are in a good place if you train hard in the gym. Same thing here, that you need to be out in forest to get those good biological um, well, process in your body, uh, so to speak. So it's same as training, same, same as sleeping, you need to get out in the forest every once in a while. So uh, yeah, first part of this little video log will continue on our forest walk. So another note, I suppose most of you saw on Lego Glory either Facebook or Instagram yesterday that we have released, uh, re-released this fine classic and the difference is you don't have any zippers anymore because I, yeah, I thought it was redundant. It got in the way most of the time. So now it's just a bit smoother here. Uh, no back pocket either because it was a, <laughs> it was a redundant feature. So, um, so yeah, check that out in case you're wondering about the greatest handsome tracksuit bottoms of all time. Um, they're great. They're great, mate. I'm saying this in a humble way. So let's get on with a forest tour. Oh, by the way, being completely honest, I also get the chance to LARP as a wood elf when I'm out in the forest. Do you see this Waywatcher garment I have? So I'm ready to, yeah, I'm ready to um, infiltrate this forest and uh, deal with forces of Slanesh. Stop watching porn, lads. All right. <laughs> so I have had this throwing knife for longer than, well, over half of my life. Such a beauty. I got it when I was like 12 because I thought it was fun to throw some knives. So we're gonna see right now if I if I'm just LARPing as a wood elf or if I'm actually having some wood elf skills with my knife here. So we're gonna aim at that tree and uh, see what the crack is. Of course, of course. <laughs> So basically you have to stand at a certain distance if you're throwing it like this, otherwise it will turn over. So I can only reach this tree, this um, tree if I'm standing close enough. So if I'm standing further away, I can't really do it. But at this distance, it's, um, it's doable to get. All right, so one attempt, a last attempt to get this aesthetic shot. Boom. Let's go champ. Let's go, jump! Masterfully done. My elven graces are profound. This was fun, so um, yeah, let's try again. Ultimate fail. Now, I thought about titling this video something really clickbaity, such as 
You can't believe what someone said to me. I might still do it, I haven't decided yet as of this moment, but in regards to my hair, some guys say I don't look like a Viking anymore, but it's not true because I look like a Norman. If you see this Bayou tapestry, see the Norman haircuts, the only difference though is that I haven't shaved the back of my head, but if you look at the Norman hairstyle, it's more it reminds more of this than just having long hair and the Normans were perhaps the most ultimate of mad cunts in their exploits uh, I'm not saying this because I sympathize with the Normans during the conquest of England I sympathize with Hervad book recommendation by the way great book by James Wilde I can definitely encourage all English guys to read it if you want some additional patriotism in your reading routine. So anyway, the Normans conquered Sicily among other things so I do think it's a good aesthetics to have. So you can still think of me as a Viking Jarl, just a Norman, Normanized Jarl instead. So yeah, that's my response to everyone who says that my hair isn't isn't Vikingish enough anymore. Absolute heresy. That being said, who knows? I might save it out again, the long hair. It's not overly short now anyway, so but it feels really good with short hair, I can tell you that much. Especially in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and MMA. And now we have stumbled upon some mushrooms here and I will use my new camcorder to get some cool footage so here it goes okay perhaps wasn't the coolest of shots but um, we'll see if we can get some other nice shots in this Mirkwood forest so anyway I think about making some Warhammer lore videos uh, both for fantasy and for 40k or rather Horus Heresy. Um, I know a lot of you like Warhammer um, and of course I've talked about Her Horus Heresy before and uh, there's a lot of inspiration to be drawn from there uh, to stand up for what is right in this beautiful world. So yeah, good times, good times. Right, so we stumbled upon a reasonably cool photo shoot opportunity and I have the epic sort of Mars hoodie so you might see this picture come up on Instagram or you might not in case the picture is bad who knows so that was the video log salutation from the Scandinavian autumn forest and um, yeah maybe maybe just maybe this is the kind of top quality content that will make my channel finally go over a hundred thousand subscribers who knows it has to be done anyway uh, and as I said in the last video I have to increase my video log skills so anyway I have another training video log which is coming up today as well uh, will be out on patreon I'm still demonetized by YouTube, hence keeping the training video logs on Patreon and Subscribestar. So anyway, thank you for watching this final video and have a great rest of your day. XXO, boom! Oh, hello. Is it filming? Extra quality content. This type of extra quality content of me improvising. Well, I always improvise anyway, so it doesn't really make it <laughs> make a difference. But this is the kind of quality content that will make the video go up, the channel go up. So, um, so yeah. Subjugate a normling, force him or her to subscribe. So they say like, oh, you know, I'm not sure about this guy. He seems a bit too full of himself, a bit narcissistic. But then you physically subjugate or just say, you know what, give me your account or otherwise I will subjugate you. And then 
hit the subscribe button. It's the only way. It's the only way to get this channel to reach its final destination. Well, not the final destination, of course, but the next stop along this great journey. So anyway, get people to subscribe. It's the will of the gods. XOXO. Boom!